developing news right now out of Latham, where police confirm bodies were found in a home following a fire. We've confirmed the home on Schlaren Drive is owned by a member of the Colony Police Department. You can see on the map the home is located near Forts Ferry Road. We have team coverage as we work to learn more on this. Our Carrie Beal is live at the fire scene and Kimberly Howard is standing by at the Colony Police Department. We begin with Carrie and Carrie, you've been at the home since before four this morning. What have you been able to learn? Well, neighbors here say they are in shock and that this is normally a quiet and safe neighborhood. If you take a look behind me, oh, I guess we have a truck that needs to come through. I'll give you a second here. If you take a look behind me back there, that is the house that burnt down last night. State and local fire crews are still here examining the structure of the house. We have been here since 3.30 this morning, and it was around that time that two bodies were removed from the house by a stretcher. Police have not identified the bodies, but they say there were multiple deaths. And with news of this, many residents here say it all comes as a surprise. The family seemed very nice. We always see him outside, especially the father. He was always out with the dog and running and with the kids. So we would, you know, talk as we were passing by. He was a yeah. nice guy. You don't know the people. You don't know the relationship. You never, you never heard any loud screaming or never saw calls for the police coming to the house to break up a domestic event or anything like that. So you, you, you don't think about that, really. Still many questions remain, so we are trying to get those answers and get some more developments about exactly what happened here, how it happened, if it was a homicide or an arson or anything like that. None of that has been confirmed yet, so we will keep you updated and continue to follow this story. I'm Carrie Beal reporting live in Latham for CBS 6 News. Thank you, Carrie. And our team coverage of this heartbreaking story continues with our Kimberly Howard, who's live right now at Colony Police Department. Kimberly, what is the department saying about this right now? Well, and Carrie may have mentioned just moments ago, new information into our newsroom that there was three bodies found inside that house, two adults and one child. And we do know that this investigation is hitting very close to home for colony officers because we know that that house belongs to a colony patrol officer. Town records show that that house belongs to Israel and Deborah Roman. Now, Israel Roman is a police officer here in the town of Colony. But again, we have not confirmed just who died in that home and how. Again, just getting that information in the last few moments that two adults and one child were found dead inside that home. The number of investigators and agencies involved with all this is large, but local and state police and fire investigators have been meeting here at the Colony Police Department. We know the Albany County District Attorney's Office is involved. We also know that it's possible there could be an autopsy scheduled for later today. So as Carrie mentioned, still a lot of questions at this point. No official word on when we could be getting more information, but we will stay on top of this for you. Continue to keep you updated both on air on and online, and we expect to have much more for you in later newscasts starting at 5 o'clock. For now, though, we're live in Colony. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. Thank you for the latest, Kimberly. And this morning, the North Colony School District posted a statement about what happened on their website. Take a look here. It says, in part, we learned of a terrible tragedy involving a family living in the North Colony Central School District whose home was involved in a devastating fire. In this extremely difficult time, our focus will be providing the necessary supports to our students and staff. We'll keep following.